You were supposed to grow a beard for this. I've been trying. Try harder. Did it work? No. Okay. Why do people like beards? I don't guess I really even know why I like beards. Do you like beards? She does. No, I really don't. I think they look good on other people. She has a beard and you're telling <laughs> That's me you okay. don't like No, no, it's okay. What That's is this? Do you notice that beards are more popular these days? I think they're much less popular. Actually. Much less popular? I think clean they did a. They did this. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think like five years ago was like the heyday of peak like beard, a, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, peak beard, a short yeah. beard. Yeah. But now the clean shave is coming back. It's coming back. Bullshit. Okay, some people say peak beard has come and gone, but I'm still seeing beards everywhere. They're on celebrities. Athletes, news anchors, the sidewalk, in my salad, in my bed. And I still love them, obviously, but why do I still love them? I guess like my wife. I don't guess I really even know why I like beards. To answer this question, we should first talk about my favorite subject, me. Here's a list of reasons why I started to grow a beard. One, less shaving. End of list. Take a look at my older videos. Do I look like the kind of guy who cared about his appearance? This was my fashion criteria. One, cover my body to not get arrested. Two, keep hair short enough to see and breathe. Three, shoes. I wore them. In short, I was lazy. But I'm not the only one. For me, it's more convenient, uh, just because I get a very quick five o'clock shadow. Because you're lazy. A little bit, yeah. I'm not partial to beards, I'm just really lazy. However, like much of my life, laziness was a gateway to caring about stuff because I've grown to love the beard. Plus, I'm stuck with it because I made it my brand, but still, was another option. I'm glad I went with the beard still instead. So, since my only reason for growing a beard was laziness, which is a super valid reason, let's make the first reason for why people like beards easier than shaving. But is it even hard to shave? It's been so long, I don't remember. Let's find out. Better check with my wife first. What would you say if I... No. What would you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Just kidding, I'm gonna do it. Thanks to our sponsor, Harry's, a razor company. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go shave. Harry's is friggin' awesome. They send you all your shaving accoutrement right in the mail rather than having to go to the stupid store and waiting in the stupid line, impulse buying the tabloids and the chocolate thingies. One time I bought a lighter, I don't even smoke. Let me tell you a story. Two dudes were sick of overpaying for overpriced, overdesigned razors. So, Andy and Jeff founded Harry's. Wait, neither one of them is named Harry. Well, I get it, Harry, because hair because like a rabbit, because a rabbit jumps, and these razors are jumping quality, yeah. So they sent me their starter kit, a razor with a weighted handle with textured rubber grip, German-engineered cartridges, foaming shave gel, a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the move. It's a really good price. Refills are only $2. You can buy a lot of tabloids and chocolate thingies with the money you save. And they give 1% of sales to organizations that promote better mental health care for men. And they guarantee a close, comfortable shave. I'm not really shaving off the beard, you guys. I'm just trimming around it. Come on. You think this comes naturally. And you can get all the stuff you need for a close, comfortable shave and support my channel by signing up. Redeem your trial set for just $3 if you go to harrys.com slash wheezy. Say again, harrys.com slash wheezy. And you can join the over 10 million other people who have tried Harry's. Oh, that's right. I already trimmed my beard with this razor before I started this video. Okay, the beard lives on. But if you're some sick weirdo who still wants to see me beardless, I'm gonna show you some images from early Wheezy history. Make sure there are no small children in the room. <laughs> Hang on. Recovering. All right. <clears throat> Time for number two. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Time for number two. They look good. Sometimes. They look good. Sometimes. I like good beards. Good. What's a good beard? Well maintained. Well shaped. Mm -hmm. Don't swear. So this is just like your opinion. Man. But everyone I talked to did seem to say that the well-groomed beard was better than the big scraggly forest. I feel like they need to be clean cut, like and clean shaven. Like yeah. there's nothing worse than when like people have stuff. What stuck happens? In it. That's yeah. what I was just yeah. gonna yeah. say. And it's all has some oil in it, so it's nice and soft. Yeah. Well Pretty if it's one. well kept, like if it's like trimmed and like groomed, like nobody likes a damn forest on your face. Well, what kind of beard do you like? A uh, short, well groomed. If your beard's gonna be really wild, then you probably have to be like kind of trimmed up and like well styled and in other ways. It doesn't look good to you if in general it's sloppy 
sloppy looking. Yeah, because then it seems instead of like an intentional choice that you're making, you're just not doing anything. Which runs counter to reason one. It's not necessarily easier to shave it all off than to keep a well-groomed beard. Gah! The good news is- I mean, you can do whatever you want. Anyone can do whatever they want. I've enjoyed a scraggly beard in the past. Yeah? Yeah. Whose? <sighs> and now for number three. Don't ask. Okay, now for number three. They compensate for a lack of hair on the head. I wouldn't know anything about that at all. I just wouldn't, like, I wouldn't know anything about that. What if I shaved my head? Still working on it, guys. Just for funsies, let's see an approximation of what I would look like with a shaved head. Awesome, right? Are you watching China? I hope you're watching. Consider thumbsing up, liking, subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon, honey. Anyway, there is a recent study that proves that when a person looks at another person's face, they expect there to be a certain amount of hair there. And when there isn't, they die. I just made that study up. But it's pretty interesting. Number four, they stick it to the man. Remember before when I said the only reason I started growing a beard was because of laziness? That's true, but I also tried to justify it by saying it had another meaning. It was more, I didn't see the point. Mm -hmm. Who cares if I have hair on my face? My face grows hair. Revolt against like a clean shaven aesthetic. Yeah, watch out clean shaven daddy Warbucks. Here comes little orphan Annie, but with a beard and probably other differing features. Anyway, another establishment people might want to rebel against, parents. What do you think about that, my parents? No son of mine will ever have a beard. Except for Craig, our only son. Okay, we won't have any more kids. Point taken. When are you gonna grow a bigger beard? Me wants a hairy hubby. Never, beards are for hippies. And lumberjacks. And baseball players. Several celebrities. And a lot of people in and out of the workplace these days. And you. Did you hear me say husbands? I can call to mind a plethora of husbands within your classifications. Right. Sure. Consider the off-bearded beefcake Brad Pitt, for instance. A quintessential loving husband in a very much intact marriage with Angelina Jolie. Should I tell her? No. I suppose next you're going to tell me that Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt broke up. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for that delightfully uninsightful conversation. Number five by way of association. People might like beards because they're on people that they like. Those people can come from all walks of life. Entrepreneurs, hippies, artists, monks, your dad, his dad, his mom, her dad, philosophers, scientists, castaways, Galifianakis's, Santa, God. Or maybe they want to avoid an association with certain non-bearders. I like my husband's beard because if he shaves it off, I'm suddenly kissing my father-in-law. Terrifying. Whoa, that is terrifying. I should know, I've kissed him. Stanky breath. Moving on. They make you look older. Yeah. People get baby face after they yeah. shave. It's very true that a beard will make you look older. Here's me with a beard 12 years ago, and here's me without a beard 12 years ago. Let's put them together. Whoa, that's a big difference. I didn't know this picture had no color, and I didn't know I had blue eyes, and was holding a severed hand. Seven, they hide perceived flaws. Lots of people on the Beard Lover subreddit brought this up. By the way, Beard Lover subreddit is the Wheezy Waiter subreddit, not just a subreddit for general beard lovers. They hide what they think are terrible chins, acne, butterfly face tattoos. No one said that, but that that's what I do. Number eight. I think beards can really shape your face. It's like makeup for men. Yeah? You know, like I you can like that. define your jawline. Again, from the Beard Lover subreddit. I think it fosters an attitude of self-care in men. There's still a stigma in some circles about men using beauty or skincare products and having a beard actually teaches you to care about your body without endangering one's manhood. Kind of historically, men didn't use as many products, I think, because that seemed like a uh, more feminine thing to do. There to also like, weren't products. There weren't as many products, those are more prevalent, but it's also more socially acceptable to use them and to like kind of fuss over your appearance a little bit more. Number nine, they thought you were talking about something else. Beards. Beards. Yeah. Beards. Oh, beards. We can talk about beer too if you want. <laughs> Number 10, whatever science says. Let's see what science says. Hey science, can I call you science? I'd prefer doctor science, but whatever. Okay. Why do people like beards? You'd have to ask somebody who could grow one. Mm-hmm. Just kidding, I can help you out. Okay. There's two ways of looking at this question. Is a beard for the beard haver or the beard looker? If the beard is for the beard haver, maybe it's a way for men to signal to each other I'm tough, male competition, which is something we see throughout nature. It stretches back into our evolution and maybe isn't as relevant today because it's not like we're all like fighting over a carcass at the playground with a bunch of other dads or something like that. We're not supposed to do that? There's also beard lookers. So because facial hair responds to hormones, 
Uh, it's a way, maybe, of signaling vigor and strength, which would be a way, again, back in evolutionary time of signaling to the beard looker that you're healthy and fit and strong and can take down a mammoth with your bare hands or something. So do you have any idea why beards are sometimes popular? You know, it's just like a pair of shoes. You think it's cool and you wanna try them on. Okay, thank you science for that great science. It's been great to science with you. S science away. Was something supposed to happen there? Am I still here? Yeah. This is where you do the special effects. Oh, all right. There you go. I hope now we are all super geniuses when it comes to why people like beards. Thank you for watching. By the way, mine looks a little wonky right now because I'm growing out these patches so that I have a full, full beard. Maybe I should grow it up to like here. Should I grow my beard up to here? Maybe here? If you like this video, consider thumbs up. Consider subscribing to see more. Consider the word consider. Why isn't it pronounced consider? I do a secret daily vlog every day for patrons on Patreon if you want to support me. New enamel beard pins available on DFTBA linked down there. How appropriate.